Have you ever wondered about the origins of the matter that makes up everything around us? Today, we delve into the latest groundbreaking research that aims to answer this very question by recreating the conditions of the Big Bang in a lab. This video will explore how scientists use particle accelerators to simulate the early universe, the key findings from these experiments, and the broader implications for our understanding of the cosmos. To explore the origins of our universe, scientists utilize particle accelerators, which are colossal machines engineered to accelerate atoms to nearly the speed of light and then collide them. This process effectively recreates the extreme conditions that existed just moments after the Big Bang, when the universe was a mere microsecond old and the temperatures reached about 250,000 times hotter than the core of our sun. At such extraordinary temperatures, ordinary matter as we know it, consisting of protons and neutrons, could not exist. Instead, the universe was a volatile expanse of quarks and gluons. A key player in this high-stakes scientific endeavor is the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, which stands as the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. Encircling a 27-kilometer loop, the LHC's superconducting magnets and a series of accelerating structures propel particles to immense velocities. When these particles collide, they release energy that simulates the conditions present shortly after the Big Bang, providing a unique window into the behavior of quarks and gluons. These collisions produce a state known as quark-gluon plasma, where quarks and gluons are not confined within protons and neutrons but move freely. This plasma mirrors the state of the universe in its earliest microseconds and is essential for probing the strong force, which is the fundamental force that glues quarks together within protons and neutrons. The experiments conducted at the LHC depend heavily on sophisticated detectors that meticulously capture and analyze the particles generated by these high-energy collisions. These detectors are specifically designed to measure the particle's energy, momentum, and type, capturing a comprehensive snapshot of the chaotic events unfolding during the collisions. One of the significant challenges faced by scientists in these experiments is achieving the necessary level of precision. The collisions generate incredibly high energies and produce an immense number of particles. To manage this, the experiments require not only highly accurate and sensitive detectors, but also advanced computational techniques. Scientists employ sophisticated algorithms and machine learning to sift through and make sense of the colossal datasets generated, identifying patterns that can lead to groundbreaking insights. Moreover, the technology developed for and by these particle accelerators has applications that stretch far beyond the realm of particle physics. For example, Advancements in detector technology have revolutionized medical imaging techniques, such as PET scans and targeted radiation therapies for cancer, demonstrating the practical benefits of this high-energy research. Recent experiments in particle physics have led to some surprising discoveries that make us question our usual ideas about how the universe was formed. Many of the particles studied in these experiments turned out to have formed in reactions that happened quite a bit later than the moments just after the Big Bang. This finding challenges the common belief that most particles were created almost immediately when the universe began. In-depth analysis reveals that nearly 70% of certain particles studied were products of these later reactions, suggesting that the universe's maturation into the complex structure we observe today may have been a more prolonged and intricate process than previously assumed. Such findings prompt a critical reassessment of the models that describe the early universe, pushing scientists to refine their theories to accommodate a more gradual formation of matter. These insights are particularly significant when considering the behavior of specific particles like d mesons and their role in producing rarer particles such as charmonium. Historically, the interactions producing charmonium were not well understood due to its rarity. However, recent data indicate that more than 70% of the charmonium observed in experiments originates from interactions involving d mesons. This revelation provides profound insights into the strong force, enhancing our understanding of the fundamental interactions that govern particle behavior under extreme conditions. Furthermore, these findings highlight the necessity of considering the timing of particle formation when interpreting experimental results from particle accelerators. 
distinguishing between particles formed in the immediate aftermath of the Big Bang and those formed during subsequent reactions is crucial. This distinction not only aids in developing more accurate theoretical models, but also deepens our understanding of the complex processes that led to the formation of matter as we know it. One of the most significant implications of this research is its relevance to the theory of cosmic inflation. Cosmic inflation is a theory that explains the rapid expansion of the universe just fractions of a second after the Big Bang. It is crucial to understand why the cosmic microwave background radiation is so uniformly distributed across the universe and how the large-scale structure of galaxies came to form. By using particle accelerators to recreate early universe conditions, scientists can test the predictions of inflation theory directly, enhancing our understanding of these fundamental cosmic events. Furthermore, this research has profound implications for our understanding of dark matter and dark energy, which together make up about 95% of the universe's total mass energy content. Dark matter is critical for the formation and clustering of galaxies, while dark energy drives the universe's accelerated expansion. Studying the early universe's conditions helps scientists explore the possible properties and behaviors of dark matter and dark energy potentially uncovering new physics that could explain these elusive components. Additionally, the experiments conducted provide valuable insights into nucleosynthesis, which is the process by which the first light elements were formed in the universe. By examining how quarks and gluons combine to form protons and neutrons under extreme conditions, scientists can better understand the creation of hydrogen, helium, and lithium during the universe's first minutes. Looking forward, Advancements in particle detection and analysis technologies hold the promise of refining our understanding of the primordial universe even further. More precise measurements and improved simulations of the early universe's conditions will allow scientists to delve deeper into its mysteries, leading to new discoveries about how the universe formed and evolved. These explorations not only deepen our knowledge of fundamental physics, but also have potential applications across various scientific fields demonstrating the interconnected nature of cosmic and quantum phenomena. Thank you for watching our video. As we continue to explore the quantum world, the knowledge we gain will frame the foundational elements of future scientific breakthroughs. Stay curious and engaged as we embark on this exciting journey of discovery.